Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. In today's video, we'll take a look at Motion Builder, a powerful and incredible motion capture and motion data tool, which is used by the industry for both motion retargeting, retiming, and also pre-visualization. During this walkthrough, we'll take a look at a couple of things, which includes characterization, what and what you should know, understanding how take works, transferring motions from one character to another, matching motions and motion clips, the story editor, and finally, we'll jump through and do a quick render in Mamoset. And with that said, let's begin. So right into the UI, from here you get to see the entire menu system. That's very obvious, that's it. So you want to make changes or you want to, you know, control or move around the viewports with this. You can you know, orbit around the tool, you can pan around, you can, you know, dolly in, dolly out. You can bank left and right and you can zoom in and out. Here is for measurements and within this part, you get to see tools that you can use to manipulate your model. So things like a move, rotate, scale, all of those things, changing pivot points and all that exist here. Here is where the main characterization happens. The character that you're going to use here is going to be where you can find a higher. And if you're using Maya, obviously you might have seen the HIK and the HIK actually set it up from here. All right. So we're going to talk about that later. From this part is where you have the resources. And from those resources, you get things like the tutorial templates and also pre-visualization moves. If you're into making scripts, of course, you can also make scripts directly from here. You can edit the scripts that are existing here because Motion Builder also supports Python, right? So you can do all of those things from there. Most of the tools which you're going to work with today exist from here okay most of the tools which we're going to work with today would come directly from here so how we're going to work with this right now is you know just show you guys the rest of these things and then you can get up with it here is your time slider all right this is where your timeline is this is where the transport control is and here's your playback control you know you want to play back faster less faster all of those things here is the navigator the dope sheet if you want to control certain stuff the f curves here's your story and the animation trigger we will talk about this and also talk about the keyframe okay real quick how this works is first of all you need a model so where best do we get a model from then making use of the model that have been provided to us by autodesk so i'm just going to simply pick on arago and drop arago directly here and there is two file things here that i would like you guys to get a very good understanding about okay first of all we have fbx merge and we have fbx open all right so fbx merge simply means that you're merging this with a setting file that is open why open simply means that you're clearing out every single thing that exists on your scene and you're opening this file if you go over to the place that says all takes all takes has to do with the number of takes that exist in your file so if the model you're bringing in or if the fbx file you're bringing in or if the motion file you're bringing in has several takes all those takes are all going to be lined up and you can load all of them in if they don't have of course you're going to see us just take one and if they don't have animations you can just simply click on no animation if you don't want them to come with animation of course you can do that as well so for this model we don't want it to come with animation the reason is because we want to show you guys how these things work so if it doesn't come with animation all you're going to see is a simple t pose character or a character in a given pose now this character is in this given pose because it has the joint binded to it and it doesn't have any form of motion so first things first you will learn everywhere is your motions or your character has to be in t pose before you can start assigning characters to them because at that point everything is at rest and so everything starts from there and every motion continues from there and that is why your character needs to be in a, either in a t pose or in a y pose all right so cool with this done the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and see or attach a motion to this all right so for some reason you might have a file that doesn't have this okay so once you notice your file so let's go ahead and delete this once you notice your file doesn't have this it is understandable that your file doesn't have characterization right so because your file doesn't have characterization you can not see that there so when you go over to character nothing exists none nothing exists okay so for you to check your hierarchy just to make sure at least that your character has a joint or it is binded by a joint you need to press ctrl a on your keyboard until you get to see the x-ray or you can go over to display and turn on x-ray all right so you can do that again if you want to do this you can do that by pressing ctrl a and then you get to see it for us to actually add characterization we need to go over to templates go to character click character and make sure this is applied to the joint and once we apply that to the joint and we select biped boom that is all you need to do and there you're going to see this here all right now characterization is a mode 
of uh, which motion builder uses to transport motions from one character to another and it is also another mode that motion builder or maya or basically maya and motion builder uses to understand where to place controllers when they you know when they start making the characterization all right you're going to understand this a little bit more later all right so with this done you're going to notice that everything is turned green if for some reason your model is not turned green so i just undid that it is because one certain part of your model okay one part of your model is not within the zero point all right so see what happens once i get to add this if i click drag and drop characterize biped go back here you can see we have this problem all right so whenever you have a problem like that just know that there is a part of your model that is not aligned properly and another reason why we're adding the characterization is because we want character controllers all right so instead of doing your default rigging in maya dragging them directly here you can just do that directly inside motion actually it's one of the main reasons motion builder is so powerful all right so let's just go around this model and this model is ready to go right now we're working based off fk so you can see we can just uh have this question stretchy thing here that is what that is all about it and if we just rotate you see we, we're just working based off uh fk right so there is no ik system here so that's why we need to actually characterize this as well so we're just going to do that click here characterize and biped and with that done you can see we have this going on here so with the characterization fully done what you can do is you can come over here and drag in a source and say we want you to create a controller for us that has to be with fk and ik and click on fk and ik so we have forward kinematics and inverse kinematics forward kinematics we now have the ability to just simply select any part of this object we want to do our forward kinematics thingy which has to do with you know stretching and uh, we can do the inverse kinematics directly here by you know having this so let's uh switch over to full body controllers yeah and then we can do something like this and at the same point we can still grab onto this object and you know make him squat and jump up and down all those things all right so this is one of the big reasons why you need this all right so you have a motion file and this motion file is fbx or maybe it is bvh or maybe it is c3 d all right or maybe it is c for something depending on what motion file you have you can bring them into motion builder motion builder kind of accepts a lot of motion files so you can go over to file and then you can import the motion file that you have all right you can import them and you can also export from them so let's say you have a bvh you recorded the motion you can simply drag in that bvh and use it but for the purposes of this video we are going to simply use the previous motions that exist here so let's just find a nice previous motion and i'm just going to scroll all the way i don't know all right so we're just going to find one here that says look oh low kick looks good so i can just bring in this low kick and merge remember what i said about this merge okay so if you're wondering also what is the big difference between all these take take things take works like this all right so let's talk about take so we have a clapperboard here i'm just going to use this clapperboard to simply explain this all right so we have this clapperboard here and it is our take one so what happens in a take is since we're filming so as it is right now so since we're filming this shot we want to simply frame or have certain things happen within a given frame all right so we want to have character one and we want to have character two depending on what you want now these motions that you're going to have so let's say we have motion one and let's say we have jab let's say it's it's a jab all right so we want a motion one to happen to this character and we want the jabbing to happen with this character you have to put these two under the same take in motion builder all right so even if we have this guy as run so let's say we have a run and jab and let's say we have a uh, skip let's say we have skip and motion one you have to blend these two motions into this character you have to blend these motions and these motions into this character and blend these emotions and these motions into this character and store them to take one because this is the shot that you want i don't know if it makes sense so in a given shot like this 
all of these things are different motions that exist and these are also different motions that exist in shot one and they are stored in take one so if you're making take two take three let's say at this point after he runs and jabs this guy and this guy skips and hap an emotion happens we see this guy falls down and that might be in a take two so we can now do a take two with this character falling down you know and all those things happening cool so we're just simply going to switch from this character to character one and how we can do that is directly here you can see our character is reading from the control uh, rig so you can see i'm just selecting this so you make sure that this is the character so i'm just going to select this and say read from character one and now you can see the both of them are merged and this character is actually driving our arago all right so this character is actually driving the uh initial character that we had so we can press back and then you can see the what we have cool cool stuff if for some reason you want to bake these or you don't want to have all of these things happening you know you you don't just like those things happening in your scene what you can do is simple right now you can either choose to come through go over to this part that we have bake and bake this to either the skeleton of our character or you can bake this to the control rig all right so if you bake it to control rig it simply bakes it to the controls and bakes it to the joint all right if you bake it only to the joint it only simply bakes it to the bone next thing which you want to do is we want to undo all of this all right so let's just simply select this and set it to none or let's just simply set it back to uh, control rig which it is and i'm going to simply delete this a quick way to delete this is just pressing delete and that's it and uh, you can just grab a certain selection press ctrl w on your keyboard you can come over to the schematic view press f on your keyboard as well and from this part you can see the schematic view of the entire characters right so i'm just going to click and drag this around because i would like to have uh, characters references to be there i also like arago's uh, root to stay all right now this other one which is called master is the character from the other part so i don't want it so i'm just going to delete and say yes and delete both the character and delete all of them yes and the same thing happens i wouldn't want to keep any of the geometry that comes in with that character and i'm going to delete that yeah so once this is done ctrl w and we are back on track with our clean scene all right now a good thing with motion builder is now they have added in a new feature in the 2019 version which simply is called clean up scene so it simply means that you can now press clean up scene and anything that is not being used it gets cleaned up all right so you can do a clean up scene and it's going to remove every unwanted stuff within your scene that you don't want to have all right so with this done the next thing which i'm going to show you guys is story so directly under here you're going to see story highlighted all right so how do you use a story so how story works is if you have an fbx file or a motion file that is being characterized you can go ahead and bring in that motion file here so how we can bring in this motion file let's say we want this low kick and we don't want all of those messy things around our scene we can just simply drag it go over to story directly here make sure story is turned on click drag and drop all right so we can click drag and drop and we can have that there if we are done with having the low kick we can also choose to add in another motion directly here so let's say we have that low kick and we have a punch combo all right so i can also click drag and drop directly here and then if we press the playback button you can see he kicks and then we can let's go ahead and increase this all right so let's say it is about 80 so we can come through and just simply change the values here and increase this so what happens is once we press the playback button he kicks and then he punches but now you might have automatically noticed that this character is jumping from one position to the next so what does this mean this means that we need to match transforms so i can select this object here go over to this part that i have match and first things i want to do is to match the hip all right so instead of just uh clicking here and start sorting out the hip a cool way to do this is i'm just simply going to cancel select the hip itself click here and you get to see it selected all right so now i want to match it to the previous clip and i'm going to click on ok and next thing which i would like to do is to actually let's zoom in a little bit so i can just zoom in a little bit and go all the way there and simply blend this in a little bit so now once i have this done 
I can press the playback button and you can see we have that happening there. The kick and then we can have that happening there. Really, really cool. If you think the blending is a bit too much, you can also uh, change this values just a little bit so you can change these values a little bit so if you want to see how the ghosting is you can always turn on the ghosting directly from here so if i just click here right now you might notice that we have the ghosting of the two motions from here so this is how you can get this done and for this particular motion which we want to do we want to bring in some elements and you know play with them and all your elements exist around here so one of the elements i would like to bring in is a default camera i would like to switch to that camera by coming over to perspective and clicking on the camera and there you get to see that camera and by the way all your cameras live here so if there are changes you want to make to the camera you can make all those changes directly from here all right so you can make all the changes from here if you are not if you want to increase the far plane the close plane all those things you can do them there back to story so with this we're just going to simply frame onto our character about the point like this all right just make sure that we have this guy framed so i'm simply just make this to a take right so i'm going to right click and go over to uh plot whole scene to the current take so if you want to plot it to a different take obviously you can do that as well but now we want to plot this to just the stake. So I'm just going to right click here and click plot to take. Leave this at 30 frames. You can still bring it down if you want to. Then hit plot. And with this done, right now we can turn off the story. All right. We don't need this. We can actually grab all these things, select them and delete. But if I press the playback button, you can see it has plotted all of the stakes that we had here over to this. All right. So we have all of these things there so now the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and render this bad boy so for this model that we have we want to export this model and we want to save this model so that we can render this in mammo set all right so i'm just going to go over to file and simply hit the word uh save us now the reason why i'm just going to hit save us is by default motion builder saves all its files as fbx so you have no need to worry so what I'm going to do now is just simply save us. Let's just drop it in the C drive and have that there. For these, I just want to save just the first take because I don't need all those multi takes. You know, if you want to keep your animations for all of these things, you can turn them on. If there are certain animations you, you have, you want you don't want them to exist, you can turn them off, you can turn them on here and simply hit save. All right, so before we actually render uh, in Mamoset 2 bag, it's, it's worth it to say that anytime you want to make a change to a motion, so let's say you have a motion on the head, for example, let's say you want to make a change to this, you can always add in an animation layer, right? So you can add in an extra layer that will override this particular one. So if you add in this layer and you add the key here, and within this particular once you add this key you're automatically told motion builder to always key once you make changes so i'm just going to add the initial key here and let's say at this point i would like our character's head to be a bit high so i can just raise the head a bit high this way and simply hit on key the next thing which i'm going to do is just scroll all the way to where i want this character to come down and i can just zero this all the way out now once i click on zero it takes it back to the initial pose or initial position and if i want this to happen here i can you know just simply rotate my character how i want it to look and just simply have, have key turned on all right so we have this happening and if there are changes you want let's say you want the character to look left or look right let's simply uh, raise this character's head a little bit up and rotate this and add a simple key all right so you can see that so at this point the character would look towards that direction and that is what you get so we're just going to go over to our c drive where we save the kick and drag and drop it directly here so with it directly loaded up what you can see is we have the cameras if you remember we added up cameras earlier so right now you can see that we have those camera here if you remember we added the camera one from there and you can see them here all right so one funny thing is arago by default in motion builder you don't get to see it but the character has a gun right so i'm just going to take that gun out of his hand and that will be about it so let's just simply take a look at this model okay and if there are things you would like to do to the model of course 
you can simply make those changes now so you can also turn off this our model seems to be a bit um, dusty and this is not something that we would really like to get all the time so first things you know how we do it first things we need to do is take this off so I'm just going to turn this off so our model becomes super reflective and I'm also going to turn this off and just have our model basically the way it is all right if you have things that you would like to do to this model as well you can go ahead play with the default material the different materials that exist with it and you know you can use those materials to actually drive this we covered subsurface so if you want to have subsurface on your model of course you can do that so i'm just going to select this all right so we can go around you know take a good look at the object look at how it looks like how it stacks up and once that's done we can simply turn on the fog just to get some sort of uh, foggy feel over our model and that will be about it so at this point you can just simply go ahead and finally hit the render button okay so you can hit the render button you can press the playback button just to preview and see how your character looks or maybe how your character adds up and at any point in time you're playing this and you notice that there is a lag always make sure that you have exactly the same frame and you're running at the same frame rate so if i just simply stop this and change this over to 80 as it is supposed to be you see we have just the frame from 1 to 80 all right so now we can just simply press the playback button and basically this is a simple walkthrough of motion builder and how you can get your models from motion builder directly into marmoset by just simply clicking and dragging and if you're very very are concerned about the scene which we set up and which we're using i'll put a link in the description where you can find that and i guess that's going to be it if you have questions about this put, please put them in the comment section below if you like this video you know what to do hit the like button turn on notification and also subscribe if you're new here and turn on notification so you don't miss the next video which we will be uploading very soon and if you want to learn more about motion builder there is a link in the description check out firato zunkan's tutorials on motion builder amazing stuff you would learn more in-depth stuff about motion builder if you have questions about this please put them in the comment section below and if you want me to try something else please put them in the comment section below and until i see you guys next time with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace